We've gone through a few iterations and a few hype cycles in the last year or two, but being able to develop an entire app as a novice is coming close to reality with AI. So what's Cursor and why is it turning heads in the software development world at the moment? So Cursor is a new coding platform built on the foundations of VS Code, which is probably one of the most popular code editors out there. So what's so fancy about that, you might ask? Copilot, Codium, Gemini, and others, they've been doing this kind of thing for the last two years, integrated into VS Code and JetBrains, etc. Well, I guess what the difference is here is how damn intuitive and well the AI is integrated into the cursor interface, which makes it so usable and attractive to even complete novices who want to get started or who are building out apps. So Cursor has a general chat, which is context of your whole code base, and then it can offer suggestions is really helpful. You can apply them in the main window. So let's have a look at a few features that differentiates Cursor from everything else that's out there right now. Okay, so you can go to cursor.com to download Cursor for free. A great domain, by the way, cursor.com. I bet that costs a few pence. So um, you can watch a quick video to see how it plays out, but I'm going to talk you through the key features that I think make this a little bit different from Copilot and everything else that's out there. So the first thing they're doing really well is context for your entire code base. So if you're working with ChatGPT or Claude to do code snippets, which you generate and then you paste into VS Code, um, it never really has a context of your entire application. Now, Copilot and Gemini have improved on that having some context, but I haven't found it to be great. What I'm seeing from Cursor is really good understanding and a deeper context. What's also really cool is you can actually use a at tag to reference certain files or certain documentation. You can even reference uh, public documentation, which um, is really useful for if you're doing API requests or if you want to use um, a a specific version of Next.js and you want to make sure you're using the right documentation alongside it. Also, it's got the benefit of being able to browse the web. And I know you can browse the web with ChatGPT or Claude, but having all this built straight into the editor just makes it so much easier. There's less clicks, there's less copy and pasting. Having your AI have that context is really just uh, a powerful and useful ability. So the code generation is something we've seen before. Copilot can do it. You know, it will finish off the end of a line that you're writing. But what's cool here is it actually predicts ahead. It's actually going to think about what you're going to need next and some other suggested edits that it might make to the page. And it'll insert those in there for you to decide to accept or not. And it does it across multiple lines across the whole document. So uh, it might there might be multiple places in the page that you need to accept or change. No longer do you have to copy and paste from a sidebar or make your way through the document bit by bit. You can accept all those changes at once or you can do them one by one. Again, it's these little increments in speed that are really powerful. So um, smart rewrites. So this is essentially the same as like what a linter would do. Some of the biggest errors you get when you're coding are, you know, mismatched um, types or statements or you use the wrong uh, uh, case on a on a function or something like that. Because this has context, it's correcting those mistakes as you go. And these are big time savers uh, inevitably, which are really great. So it's got this really great sidebar that's got a general chat window, just like ChatGPT or Claude. But again, the implementation here is great. You can chat with the code base, get it to make suggestions, and then it'll give you a snippet that you decide to hit accept, and then it'll get pasted back into the actual document page. Uh, I mentioned this before, but referencing the code is really cool. So you can actually reference other pages that you're talking about when you're asking questions. You can reference documentation. You can even browse the web and add documentation from there. So again, these are all things you can kind of do with ChatGPT or Claude. You can paste in the links, but the fact that it's all baked into one interface and I don't have to leave and it understands the context, this is why I see Cursor is really winning out. And you can drop in images. So if you've got a interface that you like the look of, let's say you do a screenshot of a particular design 
that you want to copy, you can just paste it in here and generate the, the CSS or the Tailwind that you need. I mean, what a great way to get started. There's also a new feature called Projects, where you can basically set uh, prompts around how you want to compose your projects, where you like to save things, what kind of a database you're using, and use that as a boilerplate to get your projects going. So all in all, I'm uh, super impressed so far with Cursor. I mean, when I initially looked at the site, I thought, mm, this isn't, you know, the highest quality design or anything like that. And I'll be honest, when I opened up the editor, it seemed a little bit rough and ready, but it really does make up for it in terms of like pure functionality and ease of of use. So I guess the big the big question to ask here is how long will Cursor maintain uh, a lead? They're getting a lot of interest and hype at the moment because really it just is a great editor to use. I'm going to be using it for the next couple of weeks. But inevitably, I see that VS Code or Copilot or ed other editors are just going to take cues from what's being done really well here in Cursor and have those implemented in their own editors. They already have a huge head start, a huge market share and a huge ecosystem. But for now, I'm going to stick with Cursor and have some fun. If you'd like to see me make a full tutorial on Cursor or any other AI tool, let me know in the comments. And if you like this kind of content or find it useful, give me a like, a subscribe, a high five, whatever. It's just uh, maybe an indication that uh, this, is being, this is valuable to somebody out there and uh, I'll keep making more. All right, have a great day.